Staying with us once again and joining us on this channel, Sports 7 GH. It's always a great pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very much for staying now. In this video, we are going to be discussing Mohamed Kudus stories. Now, Mohamed Kudus to Liverpool Football Club. Is it still on? Or what is the situation of that particular news and deal? Is Mohamed Kudus um, potential transfer move to Liverpool going to come on or not? We are going to look at that. Mohamed Kudus himself has spoken. Yeah, he has spoken. We are going to look at all of that. We are going to listen to what Mohamed Kudus had to say um, over there um, about other things. And we will look at that. All right, good. And then we will look at the Paris Olympic Games. Yesterday was fantastic and beautiful opening game. But then today, uh, some of the African countries, in fact, all of the African countries are playing today. We are going to look at that, as well as Thomas Pate News, Black Stars News, and the rest in this video on this channel, Sports 7 GH. This is another beautiful day the Almighty God has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Thank you very much, oh God, for yet another day. We bless your name and we exalt your name. Thank you very much. Now, let's start. Please do also subscribe to the channel, like this video here. Hit the notification bell and select all. Leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any. It's always a great pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very much for staying with us. Andrew, there are you. Black Stars Capito. Still, still. He's the main captain of the senior national team, the Ghana Black Stars. He's training with his fantastic physical trainer, Nuru Yakubu. Yes, as he searches for a new club. Now, the news is that he has left um, Le Havre in france and is now looking to sign with a new um club in the coming season so yes he's making sure that he keeps fit for the coming season or the upcoming season yeah according to ghana soccer net nuru yakubu is training the black stars capito andre the day and it's not only him the likes of um free aqua wakasu and the rest all of them are training very hard to stay fit for themselves and maybe for a potential move if there is any for them you know that they have oh i would have to say veterans but they are legends of ghana football legends of the black stars they paid their dues during their time wakasu during his time as i think you will be wakasu vivio <laughs> yes, so that's how things are. Now, let's move on and talk to you about the Paris Olympic Games. What a beautiful opening ceremony it was. A lot of talking points, okay? A lot of things. People are saying that the dead was horse and this thing. Jesus Christ, they are mocking. Oh, my goodness. A lot of talks about the Paris Olympic Games. But then, it has officially kick-started after the opening ceremony that was done on River Sion. Sion in paris all right yes the first opening ceremony that was uh or that happened on a river it didn't happen uh, in, a, in a stadium or anywhere it happened on a river france making sure that they will um let that thing happen for the very first time over there now the men's football day two happens today and morocco will take on ukraine morocco versus ukraine if you can beat argentina 2-1 then you have to beat ukraine obviously and i'm hoping that the moroccans will qualify to the next stage of the competition um by securing three points versus ukraine today it is 3 p.m ghana time i don't know when you watch this video it may be past or not but then they are they are playing today uzbekistan will play versus egypt today and then also guinea will take on france today guinea versus france um today and then japan versus mali today i can bet you that japan will lose france will beat guinea and then uzbekistan versus egypt egypt should be win or draw and then morocco win or draw versus ukraine it will be a fantastic one over there also now Former Black Stars player, the player with the highest number of appearances in the Italian Serie A, that is by a Ghanaian. Highest number of appearance, Italian Serie A appearances by a Ghanaian is Alfred Duncan. He has played for Fiorentina for so many years. He was released by Fiorentina just the, at the end of the last season. Um, as they said, that look, Charlie, you've paid your dues right now. Go and continue on somewhere else. And Alfred Duncan has officially joined Venezia on a two-year deal with an option to extend to a three-year. The midfielder joins as a free agent after leaving Fiorentina this summer. He has 304 
um, appearances in the Italian Serie A. Very, very experienced player when it comes to the Italian Serie A. And Alfred Duncan is joining Venezia in Italy as I speak to you over there. Now, Thomas Pate has also been reflecting on his injury challenges he's been having at Arsenal Football Club. You know that last season, for instance, Thomas Pate struggled with injury. Masa, it was injury after injury after injury yes but then he's speaking about it how he's taking all of them and giving us some hope as people like in life you face challenges and you have to overcome them you have to keep going so you totally overcome them and let's look at what thomas Partey um has for us Ghanaian midfielder thomas Partey has opened up about his struggles with injury at arsenal emphasizing his resolve to overcome setbacks and continue fighting thomas Pate, who joined us now from Atletico Madrid, has faced persistent muscular issues um, with his most recent injury, sidelining him from for nearly eight months after he was in, injured in October 2023. Despite these challenges, the 30-year-old remains determined to push through and contribute to his team. It's life. Things happen and sometimes they are things you cannot control. But I have to keep going and keep fighting. Thomas Pate said, every time I fall, I have to get up and fight back. That is the mentality I have. And I also think um, that anytime I can help the team, that is what I have to do. Every time I fall, I have to get up and fight back. That is the mentality I have. This is what Thomas Pate is saying concerning his injury concerns. Look, it's not only about his injury or in life, anytime you fall, make sure you get up. Don't be dead on the floor. Make sure you get up. Why if you fall and you stay down there, you are defeated. I defeated but if you stand up and you keep fighting that is a very strong mentality so thomas Pate is saying that look um even though he's not been lucky with injuries at his time at i am um, during his time as arsenal but then look he keeps fighting and anytime he falls he is going to get up and continue to fight over there thomas is playing his last season for arsenal football club this season we don't know whether he's going to get a contract extension or not but then we are hoping that Indeed, he will get that contract extension and everything will be fine. For the Black Stars Deputy Capito, Thomas Pari. Thomas Pari. Yes. Now, Mohamed Kudus. A lot of issues concerning Mohamed Kudus. Now, he has been talking about the upcoming season. And he says that, look, he knows that he had a fantastic season last season. And it was a very good one. But he knows that going into the next season, a lot of teams and a lot of players will target him. He will be a target man. For a lot of the teams and he's ready for it he's ready to spoil there for the uh, west ham united fans and the whole of ghana and everybody let's listen to what muhammad kudus had to say today is because when i interviewed you for the first time when you come and i asked what can the fans expect off of you you looked me dead in the eye and said i'm here to entertain you know and my gosh did you do that last year how are you feeling um in this pre-season do you feel like you're ready for the for the season and what can the fans expect from you this year? Um, same me, you know. Um yeah, definitely the preparation has been smooth so far. We have some couple of games to, to still get to the level we wanna get at. So I'm um, looking forward to tomorrow's game but um same thing like last season, you know. Um last season was good, first season to announce myself but I think now the expectation is even higher, you know. And the opponents are going to come stronger, but so am I. So, yeah, it's just double my effort and then do my best for the team to, to finish in the best position as possible. All right, so that is Mohamed Kudus detailing how um, uh, he's ready for the upcoming season. In fact, he was talking as a West Ham player and for West Ham United. But there is a huge transfer news surrounding Mohamed Kudus and that is Liverpool Football Club looking to sign Mohamed Kudus from West Ham United. There are a lot of stories concerning that. Now, Liverpool wants to have a permanent or a fantastic replacement for Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah obviously may be leaving Liverpool in the coming year or two or three almost by three four years there he'll be leaving liverpool Mohamed kurus is just 23 years old very young player and they also want anthony gordon of 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 newcastle united and with anthony gordon he was a player for everton 
and then he was transferred to Newcastle United. Now, if you are Everton player, you are from Messi side, so he looks like you now Kassan, you can play Liverpool at any point in time. So they want to have Anthony Gordon on the left and then Mohamed Kudus on the right. So that's the news that Liverpool are looking to get these two players and they are going to really, really cost them um, huge sums of money. So whether or not Mohamed Kudus will join Liverpool uh what's the situation we will just wait to see but the latest news coming in is that liverpool and slots liverpool is looking to sign mohammed kudus together with anthony gordon from newcastle and mohammed kudus from west ham united do you think mohammed kudus should make that move but if he makes the move this season it means that he's going to be on the bench <laughs> this season but if he doesn't make the move it means that he's going to play for West Ham United also. Um, what is the situation? Do you think Mohamed Kudus should leave or he shouldn't leave? Let me know your thoughts, comments, views, opinions in the comment section of this video. Like the video, hit the notification bell and select all. Leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any. It's always a great, great pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very much for staying. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.